San Marino High School's <laughs> robotics team will be recognized at the district's board meeting today. The team won regional competitions and also qualified for the Robotics World Championships in Houston, Texas earlier this year. And KCAL's Nick Sesevic met the team and their prize robot. Um, I guess the best way to explain this is to just demo it. Meet Motif, Titanium Robotic Team of San Marino High School's latest creation. The first time you say robotics team to somebody, they do think of battle bots um, when you're out destroying the other robot. No robot wrecking. Motif comes in peace. Competitions are meant to have students build a robot that can complete very specific tasks, meant to spark ingenuity in the students. Red up by 15. This year's game was kind of like a ring toss. So there were these big uh, foam rings that are about like 14 inches in diameter and your robot had to take them up off the ground and then shoot them into a hood that's about six feet tall. The squad is on a hot streak. They won their first regional competition this year, qualifying them for the World Championships, which was held in Houston, Texas. For our first time being there, I think we did pretty well. Um, I think getting there just was a huge accomplishment on its own. They finished somewhere in the middle of the pack of their division, but this isn't just about bringing home a shiny trophy. This program, funded by the likes of JPL, Boeing, and NASA, among others, sets these students up for success. The connections you make, especially like our Titanium Robotics, we're part of this organization called FIRST, and FIRST allows us to kind of network with so many hundreds of teams. So like through that, getting to know more people in the actual workspace you want to go into is invaluable. Invaluable knowledge and hands-on experience. I think everyone who joins the team really has a passion for creating, and I think this is honestly one of the best activities to do that. There's not that many design parameters. It's kind of just, hey, here's your problem. You go solve it. So working as a team to solve something that there's no instructions for is really the fun part. The things that these guys are doing is incredible. And when you see alumni go out and they're actually successful in the field working for JPL, working for Northrop Grumman and places like that, that says you're doing something right. I might not be taking on how to use a bandsaw to college, but I think the th general thought process on how to think, how to design, uh, how to problem solve, I think is the biggest thing that I've taken away from this. Tides on three, that's one, two, three, Titans! In San Marino, Nick Zetchevich, KCAL News.